G'day, welcome to episode two of the CAM TV, promoting Cairns area musicians to the world. I want to thank everybody who watched the first episode, and especially those people who shared and promoted the link. You're the key to getting this out there, so please keep up the good work. I want to kick off this show with a great clip from a lady who's getting a lot of airplay on CMTV. And I might add, when it comes to country, she is the real deal. She not only sings and plays, she can ride, rope and barrel race with the best of them. Her name is Shandell and this is Baby You Broke It. Dragged in with your Calvin Klein, all stained with the wine, and missing your wedding ring. Don't tell me you lost it. What's your excuse this time? Was she blonde, brunette, all the redhead I heard of on the grapevine? Trusty truck. Oh, what's that? Is that a tear in your eye? Let me give you a tip. Don't trip on your lip. Hell yeah, you should have thought twice. I gave you my heart, but you gave it back broken. I gave you my world, but you spun me right out of control. Welcome back to the CAM TV. Now, I've been playing in bands for probably too many years, and I think most people who do play in bands realize that it's not all froth and bubble. Sometimes it can be really hard to keep a band focused, uh, enthusiastic, and just to get three or four people in the same room at the same time for practice can be a challenge. Imagine how hard it is for our couch guest today. She's got a band of 13. The CAM welcomes Jody Emsley. G'day Jody, how are you going? Hi, how are you going? Thanks going for having very me. Well. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Top Shelf is a fantastic band. Thank you. Must, is it hard to uh, keep 13 people? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> it has its moments, um, but I guess I'm really lucky to have known everyone for so long. I've got a really good crew of friends and everyone's pretty motivated, so. Yeah, cool. How did you get it all together? Okay, well originally I put the band together for a musical production that I directed. Um, a good friend of mine wrote that here, local Cairns man, Dale Trenor, and put the band together to do the show. Worked together for so long, um, it's just 
not all that often that you get so many people together that work really well together and we finished the production and kind of went, well, that was cool. What's next? So you wanted to play together some more? Pretty much. That's mm. how it rolled. So, yeah. Okay, so what styles of music does Top Shelf cover? Well, Top Shelf, a big band, can play just about anything. Um, the range of instruments that we've got, so five-piece rhythm section, five-piece horns, we've got three singers. Um, pretty much we started out focusing on the swing from the production that we've done. Um, so from the ground up, from swing, right through your funk, disco, bit of earth, wind and fire, Stevie Wonder, bit of Cat Empire, we can pretty much do anything. So it's great fun picking out repertoire. For those who haven't seen Top Shelf, let's have a look at them in action at Vertigo's. Welcome back to the Cam TV. We're chatting with Jody Emsley from Top Shelf. And Jody, it's it's more than just a band, isn't it? As you've got a whole show going on there, haven't you? Sure, yeah. Well, um, what we launched last year uh, at Vertigo was the Retropolis at Vertigo, live at Vertigo shows. So I'm very fortunate to work with some amazing dancers from the dance agency to excess. And we put together a type of cabaret um, come clubbing kind of show that we did throughout the year um, but Top Shelf is much more than that as well it's basically a concept um, Top Shelf Entertainment Productions is the business that we run under Top Shelf is the band so the biggest band that we have and then what I focus on um, particularly for corporate functions weddings all those kind of things is we can break the band down for a full night's entertainment so I can offer a solo piano a jazz trio for dinner sets, um, five piece options to build the night up and then wow, wow the, you know, the end of the night with a big band. We've got corporate functions that specifically request dance shows. So it's about creating a whole package of musical entertainment and I've got the numbers and the players and, and all of the um, talent to do so. I think you're having too much fun actually. <laughs> Got... It is lots of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> those dancers are very good looking, aren't they? They're great. Mm. I love my girls. So Jodie, what's what's the future hold for Top Shelf? Lots of exciting things. Um, lots of plans for the future. A lot more music making, a lot more fun. As long as we've got our music and we're having fun, that's the key. Alright, well there you go, that's Top Shelf. 13 people having way too much fun. I think they need a balding 70s rock singer, but <laughs> we'll just wait and see on that one. When you stare on a mountain and reach for the stars, mother, father, sky, stand there beside. Don't ever give up What's rightfully yours Don't let no man Falsely Accuse you Gigi Davies is a blues man through and through That we know But what about the George Davies of today? He appears to be a spiritual man A man that embraces the environment, peace and all things good. George, I guess the obvious question is, 
Have you always been the man I just described? Yeah, I have, Irene. It's, uh, I did 20 years in the army and when I got out I went uh, into a franchise, but I went belly up 12 months later. So uh, I then found it very hard times through life and that sort of thing. So I moved up to far north Queensland where I found the Daintree and uh, I'm a big advocate for Daintree Delta Blues and that sort of thing at the moment. Did you have a happy childhood? Yeah, I was, uh, I was the oldest of three kids and uh, mum and dad were both working all the time. But we had a very good childhood. And there's no problems there at all. And when did you discover blues? Um, well, it was only when I went bankrupt and divorced. <laughs> I uh, was right down at the bottom of the ladder sort of thing. And then uh, I, I found the Daintree and the music and uh, all that sort of thing. Jono's blues band was a big uh, influence on me and that sort of thing. So uh, all, always I had the blues in, in my blood all the time. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. And um, who do you admire most musically in the world? Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Tom Waits, Luca Bloom, those sort of blokes. Um, and also uh, Joe Cocker and Richie Havens from way back sort of thing. And who do you admire most in the world outside the musical industry? Oh, I'd have to say my beautiful partner. partner. Mimi Tanaka. Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. She's a great artist too. She keeps me straight and narrowed all the way. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I thought you'd say someone, something like Nelson Mandela, <laughs> <laughs> which, who I'm sure you do admire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and are you happy where you are right now? I'm a very good place right at the moment, yeah. That's I'm great, isn't it? That's yeah. the best place to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, of all the songs you've written, and you've written quite a few, have you got any idea actually how many songs you have written? Um, I've written five albums. I've done about 50 songs of my own sort of thing. Right. And do you have a favourite? Yeah, I do. It's called Prayer of a Broken Man. It's the one that was done recently, the last album. Um, I've met a lot of people walking the highway of life. Like when I got out of the army and then I used to busk at Port Douglas Markets. And uh, I met Ron Stowe over there and he produced the first three albums, The Gate, Prodigal Son and Man of Straw. And then I moved up to Cairns at uh, 2006, 2007, where Terry Doyle took me under his arm and uh, we did the Struggle album. And on the Struggle album, James um, Warner was playing piano for me on, on one of the songs. And I love his music so much. So he produced the last album, which was uh, Prayer of a Broken Man. And it's all piano going through that and beautiful music. That's great. He's left town now, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've also had collaboration with Ivan Lucia, who was, uh, his songs mainly uh, on the uh, album Prayer of a Broken Man. Now, you touched on it earlier in the, the, the first question, uh, the music that you want to embrace now. You've got a, a name for it, the blues you want yeah, to... Yeah, I call it uh, Daintree Delta Blues. Well, that's great, George. And thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Brett. And uh, thank you for having me. This is a prayer of a broken man. Many a heart surely he has broken. This is a prayer of a broken man. Never a wise. Has been spoken. Never a wise word has been spoken. Hi, this is Alita from Cairns Folk and Roots Original Music Events with your local scene wrap up. First up, let's focus on the girls. Originally from Sydney, Amy Chase started her career as a vocalist performing in live bands blending soul, R&B, jazz and contemporary sounds. She has supported artists such as Daryl Braithwaite, Marsha Hines, The Models, Paulini and Andrew Wishart. Amy recently spent a week in the studio recording her EP. It will hopefully be ready to be launched in March and we can expect a bit of contemporary soul and funk from this new offering. Amy also spent time in Byron Bay shooting the CD cover and in the meantime has relocated to Sydney for a few months where she'll be gigging and doing some session work, plus flying back up to Cairns to perform as well. 
Born and raised in Mariba, Jade Holland was only 12 when she first appeared on stage at a country music open mic night. For the next 10 years, she travelled Australia, successfully competing in the Country Music Talent Quest circuit, also forming her own duo, The Toxic Dolls, and representing Australia at the World Championships of Performing Arts in LA. Jade has just released her first single, a rock and country track titled Mess With A Girl Like Me. Some would say it's about time and they would be right. Shirley Lynn, also known as Shirl, has finally released her debut EP, appropriately titled It's About Time. Recorded at Grumpy Old Man Studios with producer and local music legend Terry Doyle, the CD is a fine collection of insightful contemporary folk ponderings from the heart of this local songwriter. The EP was launched recently at the Songwriters on the Waterfront session, which is held every Thursday at Mondo's Bar and Grill, and hosted by Terry Doyle. Shaw also plays regularly around town as part of duo The Silk Tones and band Blue Tonic. Visit ShirleyLynn.com for more info and check her out on YouTube. 2012 was a huge year for Leanne Tennant. Her debut EP, Are You There?, produced by Will Kepper, garnered plenty of attention and airplay. She completed a self-managed, self-funded tour of Cairns down to Brisbane in July 2012 and was picked to perform at Big Sound in Brisbane in September. Leanne was the only female chosen and was representing Cairns entirely. With her, she took top local musicians Chris Ellis, Rod Collins and was joined by Bill Chambers and Women in Docks drummer Jeff Green. Along with plenty of original duo gigs with Chris Ellis, she also became part of a new band, Rockabilly Blues Express. Leanne is currently on a break from performing, taking time to work on new material for a new album to be released early next year. Meanwhile, her current EP, Are You There?, is available on iTunes, and you can find out more about Leanne at facebook.com slash Music. For a few years now, the hillbilly goats have had far north Queenslanders hooting and a hollering as they perform their up-tempo arrangements of mountain grass music, hillbilly roots and old-time blues. Performing at venues and festivals down the East Coast and just completed another successful stint at Tamworth Country Music Festival, the goats are leaving an impressive hoofprint everywhere they go. Achievements in the last 12 months include MGM Planet Distribution on their latest album, Out of the Mountains Show, Gold Level Endorsement by Daddario Strings, an RADF grant to produce a video clip of the first single off the new album, nomination for Alternative Country Album of the Year in the Golden Guitars, CMAA Awards, and several tours with Bill Chambers and support for the Sunny Cowgirls and Adam Brand. Their latest CD, Out of the Mountain Show, includes Bill Chambers on several tracks and features traditional songs from 1710 through to 1931. Here's a peek at their first video clip filmed at Herberton Historical Village. that clip in full on our next episode. Tune in then for more of the latest music and the scene wrap up from Cairns Folk and Roots. Don't tell her they've hanged me at all.
money, babe And on Thursday Island the sun warms the air As the breeze from the sea blows her head And she sits by her window And calls out to me Yes, she calls out to me Camarunga, who are, it has been said, dragging Australian bush music kicking and screaming into the 21st century. They're brilliant. If you don't have a copy of their latest offering, Worlds Collide, I don't know what you're waiting for. You won't be disappointed. Now, as I've mentioned before, live music wouldn't happen without the venues that are willing to put it on. So each episode, we'll be featuring one of these Cairns area venues to see what makes them tick. Alita Tolk went out to meet with two very popular owners, from Shield Streetway. In Cairns, a name that is synonymous with live music is 12 Bar Blue. And it's my pleasure today to be talking to owners Maz and AD. Welcome to Cam TV, guys. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank yes, you. thank you. Well, when it comes to running a live music venue, I guess it probably is a good idea to have a musical background, as you both do. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Maz, and then AD, and how you guys came about to create this venue? Me, musically, I started in a band when I was 15, um, playing a organ, it was. It was a house <laughs> organ, and it took three guys to carry it. Oh, really? So, yes. Um, and I played in that band probably for about 10 years. Um, moved away, then later on I played with uh, another band on the Tablelands um, called Second Edition for probably about 10 years and then another band called Jukebox. Yeah, I, I started my career off in, in Hong Kong 23 years ago um, with the Pointer Sisters and uh, played with them for two years. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, they're, 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 it was good fun, to, you know, it's great fun. It was so, uh, Mick Taylor and Terry Reid and, uh, and, and several others. So I came to Hong Kong about 10 years ago. I was in Sydney for a couple of years and then we moved up here and um, that's when Maz and myself met and talked about running a little bar. So what prompted you to think about creating a bar that basically just promotes live music only? I mean you don't have poker machines here, you don't have any other way of making any money except from behind the bar. So the idea is to get people in to come and see the live music. What prompted that? I guess um, because there's so many l local bands and live artists 
and it, we've created a venue where they can come and perform and do their thing. Um, to encourage live and local music and uh, we don't get a lot of southern acts, we do get a few southern acts but basically we concentrate on live music. Um, just I guess because we saw a niche, niche there where we could um, accommodate people. You have a great range of styles of music that is played in here. Um, it's only a small venue, it's very cosy, but it's amazing how many people you manage to fit on, on the stage there some Thank nights. You. And of course Sunday nights has become very famous as the mega jam night. And you've had some really interesting and quite well known people turn up to come and play with the house band who are amazing by the way. We've had some amazing acts over the last, uh, the last uh, coming up six years, including um, uh, one member from the Seekers and, uh, and other well-known people around Australia. Um, the, the Sunday Blues Night is, has always been quite a big night for us, but as you say, right now, for the last year or so, it's the biggest in Cairns, yeah. It sure is a fantastic night on Sundays, but every, every night of the week from Wednesday through to Sunday, you do have live music in here. Right. And I do believe you have an open mic night on Thursday nights, which is a great way to encourage up and coming songwriters to come down and play as well. That's right, we, we, we mostly, we, it, it's called the Songwriters Open Mic. We try to promote original music. Obviously not everyone can, but everyone's welcome to play. But it's fantastic to have um, local acts that are, that are writing their own songs and on the stage promoting them. Well, how long has the club been going now? The, the bar has been around about five All, years or Almost so? six years almost in six May. Years. Six years in May. And may I just um, retract to the um, open mic night on the Thursdays. We've had James Braithwaite who hosts that open mic night. He's been with us for almost five years and does an incredible job. Over the last few years, has there ever been one particular night or one particular act that has stood out to you as a, a personal favourite? For me, there was a gentleman one night who had his Japanese guitar, I don't know the name of it, three string, and he got on the stage, the place was full, and he sang and played Oh Danny Boy in Japanese, and you could hear a pin drop. It was phenomenal. Hair on the back of your neck standing up, fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Yeah. What about you, Matt? No, I don't, I don't really have one particular one that I can think of off the top of my head, but we do get a lot of people through that door where we have the Wolf Brothers from, uh, I don't know which... Australia's Got Talent. Yes, yeah, yes, and they got up band. and did their yeah. thing, and I just, I'm serving this guy and I'm thinking, I know that face, <laughs> I think he works over the bottle shop across the road, and it was only later on that I recognised who it was. Recognised who it was. Who it was. Yes. You yeah. never know who's going to drop in. Exactly right. And of course, we get Rod Collins, who was from Australia's Got Talent. Well. He's a regular yes. in as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, incredible harmonica player, exactly. tap dancer, the man can do yeah. everything, he's amazing. Yes, lots of surprises, lots of surprises come through that door. Excellent. Mm. Well, the place to come to Wednesday through to Sundays is, of course, 12 Bar Blue for all the best in great live music. Thanks, Maz. Thanks, AD. Thank welcome. you. Thank you. And that's about it for episode two of the Cam TV. Please spread the word far and wide because we want the world to know just what a hotbed of musical talent the Cairns area is. Oh, and what a great place it is to come and see exceptional live music. I want to finish this show with a great clip from a good bowler of mine from Thursday Island, Patrick Mao. Pat's known around the world as Mao Power, and he is Seaman Dan's grandson. He's definitely put Torres Strait Hip Hop on the map. And this is a great song called My Blood, My People. Good night, world. In the Murugo, like, I'll pull that In the Murugo, man, we could call Pata Mukmik. This is buying up a Kaipai Pukulai, a Kaib, a Kaib of Gigi or Nitiki Bangal. In the Murugo, like, I'll put it Learn from my people. Learn from my people. Like when you want. I'm a warrior. We've been grown up and blown until 
voice of the village Then we became the voice One blood hidden image My heartbeat belongs to the rhythm of our dance Stories echo through the shores of my soul like our chant So the stories I shall dance with our culture and land So them can understand when I'm an island man This is where I come from, this is who I am Identities of many seas flowing in one man Like the tide forming breeze, my people shall rise with me And my brothers always said it was destiny Oh, my people. 